I love those old promos, really see how far we've come over these years. Okay, so for months leading up to this day, we have been sharing stories and pictures of KTVB's 70 years. From the first building and tower that was built in the Boise foothills to the old shows that were taped right here in the studio and up there on the hill, to the league night at the bowling alley, to celebrities of all kinds showing up in town, also to the cheesiest promo pics from the 1970s. That one, yeah. Well, one picture we've shown a couple of times garnered this voicemail to the newsroom. Yes, this is Robert Coulter. I used to work at the TV station when it was first built up on the mountain. I have a picture of me at a camera that you show quite often. Well, we also have that picture Robert has just saw, and that picture was taken the day KTVB, or back then, KIDO TV went on the air. In fact, it was taken the moment before they hit the switch, sending the signal out to the Treasure Valley for the very first time. So you better believe we called Robert Coulter back and invited him to tell us the story of how he ended up in that depiction of KTVB's moment of inception. What do you see when you see that picture? Yeah, a lot of good memories. <laughs> There's a lot Robert Coulter still recognizes. Yeah, that was Vern Moore I saw. Yeah, that is, that is Vern Moore. He was our main news announcer back in those days. Those days were some of Robert's first days in television. And I watched him put that tower together. The early days of KIDO TV. Yeah, now see, these are the controllers for the two cameras. Okay. And where that person is sitting down there is where I always sit. But there's one picture from one day. At Philo and Georgia. That stands out. Georgia was such a nice person. Day one. And the guy at the camera is me. That one right there. That's me. Now 91, Robert still recalls clear as day that day. Yes, it was uh, July 12th. 70 years ago. 1953. What were you doing in there? What were you doing? Well, I was running the camera. That was a video camera. And how Robert ended up running that video camera is a story that starts in Star. I always love to go to a junkyards and pick up anything that people threw away. Things like clocks and telephones, radios. We didn't have TVs back in those days, but I would fix it and then give it away to anybody that wanted it. After graduating high school, Robert went east. I went to Idaho State University and took a year of engineering, and then I switched up to the Votech program, which had electronics training, and uh, that's where I learned about television. The spring semester of his junior year on Crestline Drive in Boise, ground was being broken on the state's first television station, and they needed help getting it off the ground. They had an ad in the paper for somebody, and I applied for the ad, and I got the job, and all I saw was just boxes and boxes of equipment that had never been opened up. So my job was to unpack all that, connect it up, test it out, run all the cables up put over 500 feet of coaxial cable in in about three weeks. Robert realized the size of his role when Georgia Davidson told him his deadline of Sunday, July 12th. She set the date when she wanted it. And I talked to her and she said, that's when I want to go on the air. I said, well, man, that's really going to put a lot of burden because I've worked about 60 hours a week. Wow. Well, they didn't have anybody else to do it. And my pay for that week was $35. <laughs> <laughs> On the day of first broadcast, Robert was ready in the control room as the two o'clock hour approached. Normally I run the control board, but I went out to operate the camera and, and Philo came up there, Georgia was there. They wanted to know what kind of an opening scene we should have and I suggested, well, Georgia wanted to have it at a certain time. And uh, so I said, well, let's take a picture of that. We had a clock mounted on the wall. I mean, it came to watch the second hand come up, and boom, that's when we hit it. I was right there on it, taking the first pictures that went out on the air on, for the TV station. So the first thing that went out over the air was a picture of a clock? Yes. From that moment in time. Just so many good memories I have of that place. To 70 years later, Robert is still proud of his role in starting Idaho's News Channel 7. Everything went pretty good. We had very few problems considering the magnitude of what we had to do with back in those days. Back in those days. Well, think about that. The station went from groundbreaking in February of 1953 to on the air in July in just five months. 
Robert, by the way, went back to finish school that fall and then came back after graduation to work here briefly before taking a job at what would become the Idaho National Laboratory. He also told us how in the early days they got network news in Boise. They would record on a 16 millimeter film in Salt Lake City, then fly that film to Boise. And on that plane was a film processor. So it was developed en route. And then they would take it to the station, splice in the commercials and voila, network news at nine in Boise. By the way, in that picture, Philo Farnsworth, the guy that's credited with creating television while he was a high school student in Rigby, Idaho. He was here to start Channel 7, KIDO TV back then.